Another fabulous afternoon on the docket as we roll along with day two action in the Stinger National High School Baseball Championships presented by A-Game, the ultimate in hydration from Omaha, Nebraska. Our penultimate game before semifinal Saturday features Team Massachusetts and Team Michigan from Charles Schwab Field, home of the Men's College World Series. Headed to Northeastern, underrated program up in the Northeast area in Massachusetts. Slow bouncer to second base. And Davis throws out Chris Scola for the afternoon's first out. Good little wrinkle by Finkbeiner on a 2-1 count. Establishing. Flynn tried to check his swing, and he does not. There's strike three swinging, and the first punch out of the afternoon for Tyler Finkbeiner. First base, Aaron Christians handling the third base side. Over the big 6-7 right-hander, barehanded at short. A terrific effort by Thompson, but Norris beats it. And the wow factor, I mean, that's we, a first for me. We all want to have the wow factor. Absolutely. Breaking ball, strike three called on the outside corner. A couple of strikeouts for Tyler Finkbeiner. A little bit easier for left-hander to see that and pick it up because he releases the ball from the glove early in order to have that arm action. And you can track the ball as a left-hander a little better, although they weren't able to track that slider there. Cash Vanamede swings right through the slider for out. Dilo Dovico, a couple hits and five trips to the plate through the first two games. And there's strike three looking on the outside edge. He's got a really good feel for that slider out of the gate. And Another two strike delivery. Swing and a miss. It's lifted in the air to left field. Robinson has the shades on and makes the catch. Well, Tyler Finkbeiner has done a great job just thinking along with these hitters, right? Sends a one hopper to third. That's Cole Van Mead down there, and he snaps the throw across for out number two. Pretty smooth, pretty cat. Four baseballs off the Yeah, outside. go look that up on YouTube. Fred McGriff. <laughs> struck out Fred McGriff on a ball at least two feet outside. Well, that's the third strikeout for Tyler Finkbeiner. Payoff pitch. And that's just outside. Some close misses. And a leadoff walk for Team Michigan in the second. Well, through four hitters, nobody and you assume that it's either going to be a walk or your hitter will put it in play. Blew him away with the fastball. Bayonne's fourth strikeout. Reached four, hit softly towards second. Shaheen bobbles and has no play. Oh, the speed of Thompson for Shaheen to try and. There's Jace Davis with a first pitch swing and a bouncing ball left side. Backhanded at short. Chris Gola, errant throw towards second. And. Now Pyden's breaking for the plate, the throw, not in time. He slides past the tag. And Team Michigan grabs a run in the second. Well, Chris, I can honestly say I have not seen that play probably in my lifetime. Ball's going to be a base hit. Nice job by Chris Cola in that at short to knock it down, but you got no chance at second or first. That's the ball you just put in your back pocket instead. He kind of realizes that before he lets it go, and that's why you don't see the sharp throw. Gets away from Shaheen and all chaos, but it gets built on backwards. Now, how would you do that? Put it on backwards. Probably done that before on accident, <laughs> but did it himself. <laughs> Probably. There's a fly ball into center field, chasing Flynn back. He squares up and makes the play. Uh, but Wait, what a great experience for all these kids to be around equally talented group again it's the best of the best in each state and Glenn uh, stopping all is just the founder and creator of this deal only blemish on Tyler Finkbeiner's line through two and a third innings Brett Gallo the catcher first ball swinging sliding stop that's Cole Vanamede and the twin brothers flashing the leather in the top of the third Swing and a foul tip held on to by Williams. Fourth strikeout.
for Tyler Finkbeiner as he takes care of the side in order again. Tyler Finkbeiner continues to deal to the righties, but he's he's mixing in that that slider to the left-handed hitters. He's been backdoored a couple times for strikeouts, and he doesn't need it there. Fastball right by him at 89. Well, strikeout number six school season, but he goes down on three pitches here. They're racking up the punch outs. That's number seven. A carbon copy of the first inning. Struck out Cash, Vanamede swinging and commanding that fastball both inside and out. And just a fantastic job of mixing in the off speed, keeping these hitters guessing. And Dalen only let one guy on base. Well, let's see what happens here. I might have talked too soon. Ah, great play there. But what have you seen from your pitcher so far today? You won't have a check swing, but the reason you get check swings is because he's looking fastball and it just fools him. That's low and outside. Flynn was in motion and he'll stay put at second base. Runners stay put full count pitch line drive diving play made by Thompson and they double off Flynn. And that Fink Miner is starting is, to get tired. This is tagged the left center field and it's in there and it bounces over the wall for an automatic double. And that bounce will keep Team Michigan in front. Will. Another two strike pitch. Pender launches it to left field. Robinson on the move. It's in there. A one hopper up against the fence. Two run score, and Team Massachusetts takes the lead. A two strike stinger off the bat of Pender. and a walk in the inning. And there's strike three swinging as Longo gets blown away by the fastball. But Team Massachusetts takes its first lead of the day. Bit and watch the game before us and uh, really excited for the opportunity to play here. Coach, appreciate your time. Good luck the rest of the way and uh, a little help there for Khan. A little help by Khan. Thanks. <laughs> so right, thank you. He, he, he found the, the headset. I lost two state championships in high school, so I can appreciate when somebody can actually win one. He's got two. Trey Williams hit by the first pitch. Well, and after that great play, the last half inning on the double play, he's destined to do something nice here at the plate. Well, Payon lets him. Yeah, a couple of pitches have gotten away from him. Jace Davis, an infield base hit his first time, and that's behind him to the backstop. Well, Payone having a lot of trouble with his release point in this fourth inning. And well, that'll put two in scoring position. And Swung on, popped up, and a shallow right. Shaheen out, collides as the ball comes free, and the game is tied. Miscommunication between Shaheen and Mallorette. The ball came loose at the end. And Trey Williams scores the tying run as Mallorette is slow to come to his feet. Yeah, you saw that coming from where we're sitting. Ball's popped into that no man's land between second base and right field. And as a second baseman, you're going back. You're never going to call that as a second baseman because you're not sure where the right fielder is. And the right fielder has to communicate that he has it. But if he's not sure he has it either, nobody's going to call it. And that's what ends up happening. Mallorette just runs right through Shaheen and knocks the, glove, the ball out of his glove. Guy at third has to be aware. Line shot to third. They had a play at first, but a diving attempt, and Pender doubles off the runner at third. Well, he had a much easier double play if he would have just flipped it across the diamond. And a first pitch swing off the bat of Will Shaheen is lifted into foul territory and a nice play made by Cash Banamede near the sidewall for the first out. Some nice numbers from Bobby Crane dominate Randy Johnson but what he was going to do and I was a left handed hitter 
like Jim Tomei, not like him, he had a lot more homers than I did, <laughs> but stood on the same side of the plate, was that he was showing. Show Young student athletes have listed as, as their favorite movie on the questionnaire. There's strike three looking on the outside corner. And the Notre Dame commit turns fourth, the one, two, three, fifth. Tied at two. Nine, one, and two. That breaking ball stays up. And Vanamede finds the outfield grass in right center. Leadoff base hit for Team Michigan in the fifth. This time Vanamede gets it down. Right back to Payon. And the sacrifice is successful. Line to third. Pender gloves it. Two outs. Bouncer to short. Chris Cola has it. Inning over. So a leadoff base hit. But Payon strands Van de Mead in score. He went around. Bobby Crane dropped the breaking ball in there and strikes out Danny Flynn. Well, Crane had 101 the home run off of us in game seven. And and we thought whoever won that series would win the World Series. The Marlins were waiting right there, but Marlins ends up beating the Yankees in the World Series that year. Here's Crane's payoff. And a big bouncer past Crane. Davis charges, gets rid of it quickly, and in time. A little collision there with Bobby Crane, but both appear to be all right <laughs> up there at Army. And there's ball four. So Bamilla got ahead, nothing in two, and then misses with four straight. Trey Williams pops up the bunt attempt and a basket catch made by Gallo. And the attempt to bunt Pyden in the scoring position is still on these hitters, especially if you throw 95. Bunt attempt pulled back, throw down to second, too high. Pyden swipes the bag. And that usually is the case. Anytime you cannot get a bunt down, the there's ball four. Second walk of the inning. It will set up the ground ball double play, but trouble and keep this thing tied to the seventh. The big 6 7 southpaw. Here it comes. Way outside to the backstop. Team Michigan back in front. And you don't play for it, but the bunt made that a possibility. Yeah, it'd be the first time I've seen where, you know, a team. Bunts to try to get a pass ball, but it was definitely a possibility. We said that already for Brody Bomilia, who's who is trying to keep the ball low, but obviously a little too low, and Gallo not able to handle it. That puts Michigan out front. And it puts Team Michigan in the driver's seat with just three outs to get. As Robinson goes down swinging. But a couple walks and a wild pitch, and Team Michigan is three outs away from a second victory. Now the count's full, and there's ball four. Lead-off walk for Team Massachusetts. Oh, Gabriel earned that. Got to shorten up here. One-two from Crane. High fastball. He struck him out swinging. Bobby Crane's been really. McCaffrey in the driver's seat. And draws a four-pitch walk. Second base on balls of the inning. And Team Massachusetts moves the possible tying run into scoring position. Really, that's not what you want to see if your team might do it. A balk has been called before the nothing and two pitch. What a break for Team Massachusetts. In the air, left center field, and in there for a base hit. One run is in. Here comes the go ahead run. Relay to the plate and out. The game is tied, but Michigan keeps it that way thanks to a perfect relay from Thompson again. Yeah, that was that was special. First of all, nice at bat right here by Franduto. Puts it in left center. 
Robinson picks it off up one hop hits his cutoff right on the money to Thompson who makes a quick accurate throw to home plate a nice job by Williams kind of deacon it a little bit you know as the runner you don't know it's coming come around to hunt the team that gave the free pass always does it's foul tipped into the glove of Williams and it's out number three and to close the frame after Michigan took a one run lead that's popped up middle of the infield got to have good communication here and the second baseman calls everybody off to make the play a few years I've had Clemson in Georgia twice where they went 20 innings one game and 17 the next I mean it's just uh, been a lot at times calling games I got a little bit of a jinx that I for, yeah I wouldn't know why it makes a lot of sense to me Dilo Dovico lifts it right side and Mallorette calls the other two off to make the play one two three Brody Bamilla in tight gets away and Richard is at third with nobody out. The outfield somewhere. Two two. Swung on, softly hit towards short. Thompson will keep the runner put at third, and that's the first out. Boy, Thompson has looked really confident out there at shortstop. Made a couple really nice plays, including gunning. There comes to Flynn. In the air, shallow left field. Robinson charging. He'll be called off by Pyden, and the runner will not tag go. as it uh, sails no. to the backstop. Yeah. Norris been on twice. Infield hit and a walk in three trips. Yeah. Norris the other way to right field. Banamede waiting. Puts it away. And Team Michigan strands the ghost runner at third base. Be a memorable one. Domi lines it to third and nobody there at second to cover as Pender gloves another hot shot for the first out. Slade Moore at second Michigan commit leans off the bag and it's popped up. Pender shielding his eyes from the sunshine and the third baseman squeezes the second out. One two. Bouncer back to Bamilla. The left hander handles it. Soft toss to first. And nothing doing for Michigan. Neither side cashes in on the courtesy runner. And we head to a ninth inning in Omaha. 0 2 pitch, line shot, base hit, center field. Norris will be held as Python fires it back in. And Team Massachusetts has him on the corners with nobody out in the ninth. Norris at third, Khan at first. Khan takes off, and nobody's covering second. Pretty heads up play right there. Everybody kind of wondering what's going on. First time participant here in the National High School Baseball Championship Series. Full count pitch. Swung on and missed. He did not get a piece of it. And the strikeout complete as Williams fires down to Domi. And they're going to do that, yeah. So now you got forces around the bases. Infield can play back now. And one ground ball gets you out. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He puts him away on three pitches. Another two strike pitch. Line drive. It's speared. Davis leaping catch. Worley walks the tightrope and somehow gets out of it. We've already named Brendan Thompson our A game performance of the game. He pushes a bunt up along first. Nobody's covering. And Thompson sprints by the bag with a bunt base hit. Trying to lift the ball into the outfield somewhere. Brody Bamilla ahead, nothing in two. Swing and a miss. Thompson takes off for second. And now you have got to put the ball in play. Choke up, spread out, expand the zone. Get in swing mode. Let's go. 0-2 from Bamilla. Swing and a miss. 
back to back three pitch strikeouts. Eight straight strikes. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss. Immaculate through the final three batters of the inning. And we're headed to the 10th. Brett Gallo, the hitter. Gallo squares, gets it down. Right back to, uh, not to Mater, it's to the new catcher, and he makes a nice play. Sacrifice successful, Shaheen's it. Base hit left field. Team Massachusetts finally breaks the 3-3 tie in the 10th on Charlie Chris Cola's first hit of the game. There he goes. Oh, Charlie takes the 2-0 fastball right down the middle, but obviously knew what he was doing on a 2-1 pitch. Lefty on lefty matchup, just lets the ball travel, goes the other way. That is textbook in another, or a run across for Massachusetts, up 4-3 to three now. Chris Cola in motion, and that's popped up. And a shallow right center field. Pied in the center fielder calls off Cash Vanamede for the second out. Well, Danny Flynn didn't miss that by much. Here's Will Norris, been on twice. Infield hit and a walk. And a first pitch swing. Slow roller right side, it sneaks through. Chris Cola peels around to third. Here's the throw from Van de Mead. It's a good one, but it's dropped. And now Norris digging for second, he's out. All right, Team Massachusetts, they've had their fair share of base running blunders in this game. One two pitch get in the air left center field. This could be trouble into the gap. It's in there base hit Vandermeer will be sent home. Here comes the relay. It is not in time The Vandermeer brothers have tied it for team Michigan That's Cash just cash is in Massachusetts did a fantastic job of getting that ball into the infield quick. I didn't think they had a chance at home plate and Shaheen. Nice swing by Cash Vanamede. Lefty, lefty again. You're looking up the middle the other way, and he just puts it in a perfect spot. And Norris gets that in quickly. And again, Shaheen with the transfer and a perfect throw to home plate. Almost got the runner Vanamede at home, but not enough. Michigan ties it. He load to Vicchio. He squares the bunt on a pitch that hits him, apparently. Now, Bamilla's saying that he thought it hit the bat, but right now, Chris Frank, the home plate umpire, is awarding. Line drive into left field, base hit. Vandermeer to third. They'll go station to station, and Team Michigan has him loaded with nobody out. Randy Johnson here. Bamilla looked like Randy Johnson down the stretch of that inning. Up the middle, base hit! Here comes Vandermeer, Jaden Pyden. A walk-off base hit for Team Michigan. Two runs in the bottom of the 10th. And Team Michigan, after they were mercy ruled yesterday, they go 2-0 today, and a trip to the semis very much in play for Team Michigan. Well, Massachusetts fought for 10 innings. They were 0-2, remember, coming into this game. Still had a chance. If they beat Michigan, they could have a chance to advance, but Michigan puts the pressure on them in the 10th, the double, the two base hits, and score two runs in the bottom of the 10th to beat Massachusetts 5-4. to four. Terrific effort from Team Massachusetts. Their second one-run loss of the day. Yeah, and this was a marathon. The pitching was outstanding on both sides, and 